Hey, what is up, guys? Quick video here. I got that uh, Airflow CFM sensor installed, and it is working. This is the one I repaired the circuit board on, and there are the sensors hooked up to the blower there. Now I'm doing a voiceover because the recording I made um, didn't capture my voice very well. It's pretty noisy. Anyway, there it is, reading the CFMs. One of the sensors is unplugged because it must have fried when that one chip fried, but the ports are all good, and I can move the sensors to each port, and they all work. I have three of the four sensors at home that are still good from the old set, so someday I'll just bring those with me when I do a maintenance and swap it out, but it just reads the average of any amount that are in there, so it just reads pretty much the same. Over here is the analog input for the EMS. And uh, interestingly, when you look here, see the white are the commons and the black are the plus volts, you know, for the analog input there. So white was common on the DC output. And I noticed that when I hooked it up before, but over at the transformer, once I took a little closer look, grounded the black wire down there to that bolt down there. So what I did to remedy that is I just put a separate transformer in there. I put a little fuse in line there for it and now because it's separate and it's not grounded it's totally isolated so if somebody fiddles with that other transformer or something else in the system they won't fry that control hopefully they'll just leave that alone so anyway it's up and running each individual input reads the cfm and then it does some sort of calculation and sends that out the uh, digital output so it's good to go. It was kind of cool to be able to fix this thing by replacing those surface mount IC chips that fried. So, anyway, till next time.